Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today I wanted to tell my story of how I found EverQuest. In January of 1999, I was returning back to college as both a student and a computer tech on campus through the work-study program. I'd work during the day and take classes at night. One day, my boss came in and told me about a brand new game that he couldn't pull himself away from called, you guessed it, EverQuest. He showed me his druid, and the spell graphics grabbed me immediately. The world he showed me was like nothing else I had seen at the time, and was excited to play it. The next day after school, I went and got the game, opened it up, and read the booklet inside. I knew I wanted to be a wizard. For the life of me, I can't remember his name, so we're going to call him Redshirt Guy. Because like Star Trek, spoiler alerts, this guy doesn't make it to the second act. I didn't know of the world at the time, so I spent most of my life in Toxola Forest. At level 8, I got my new spells and took the boat to Kinos. I met some humans and was invited to a group to a place called Blackborough. It was wonderful and exciting, and to this day is still one of my favorite zones. I got my first legitimate upgrade from there, a giant snake's fang. I kept my boss up to date as to my level, and the Monday after getting level 9, he told me of a place called East Commonlands, where people would sell the items that they had looted or the items that they had crafted. That night, I decided I would talk, I decided I would talk to people and find my way to East Commonlands. First, by West Karana where I was told by people killing bandits that I could either go through a place called Highhold Pass or south through Firot and Inethul Swamp, the home of the ogres and trolls. I, at the time, considered myself to be good, so felt the ogres and trolls might find me unwelcome, so I set my sights on Highhold Pass. You would have thought that in my journey, the beasts of the world would have found their way to me, but I had no trouble along the river that divided the Karanas. And East Karana was the first point in my adventure where I felt true danger, but found a human cutting a path through the zone, protecting the roads to the ramp that would lead me into the mountains. While walking through the mountains, I looked at the carvings and towers with glazed-over eyes, like a child learning the face of their parent, wondering who put them there and what meaning could be found in them. Nearing the top, I found a tower that threw me off, and the next thing I knew, I fell from the high rocky cliff to my death in the cavern below. With some time, I was able to finally make it back to East Karana, and with a little bit more time, I finally found my corpse. I decided that I had already gotten this far, so I was going to go ahead and continue to try to get to East Karana. So I went back up the path into the mountains, and without any issue this time, found my way to the zone line of Highhold Pass. Loading. Please wait. And with no time to see what had happened, I was zoning out of Highhold Pass. Loading? Please wait? Therein I found myself back in Toxula Forest, dead to a knoll that had been standing at the zone line. Let's just say that that was the last day I saw that wizard, as that night I made my bard Tindar and deleted the wizard. Tindar I played for most of my time in EverQuest before I moved over to EverQuest 2 after Lukelin had come out. And I also had a warrior called Omagr and was in a guild called Random Acts of Kindness on Moral Thul. It was a good time, and I think a lot of us remember that first day or the, that first week those first characters that we made in EverQuest, no matter what era you started in, you, you have those memories, usually. And while I didn't know a other way, or 
a better way seeing I was gone when Brad McQuaid died. I felt this was a good way to memorialize the the game in which he was a founder is a founder and creator of and touched a lot of our lives so let's talk about it in the comments below what was your first days of everquest like i'd, I'd like to hear them thank you again for watching this is cypher deck